Wanderers. Buzz, this is Houston. F2, We were wanderers from the beginning. We were bounded only by the earth and the ocean and the sky. The frontier was everywhere. When the drought was prolonged or when an unsettling chill lingered in the summer air, our group moved on. We sought a better place. We could always begin again. We were hunters and foragers. Wanderers on the savannas and the steppes. We knew every stand of tree for a hundred miles. When the fruits or nuts were ripe, we were there. We depended on one another. Making it on our own was as ludicrous to imagine as was settling down. This zest to explore and exploit has clear survival value. It is an endowment that all members of the human species hold in common. It is not restricted to any one nation or ethnic group. Long before Columbus, Indonesian Argonauts in outrigger canoes explored the Western Pacific. Egyptians and Libyans circumnavigated Africa, and a great fleet of ocean-going junks from Ming Dynasty China crisscrossed the Indian Ocean, established a base in Zanzibar, rounded the Cape of Good Hope, and entered the Atlantic Ocean. We invest far-off places with a certain romance. The open road still softly calls. The appeal, I suspect, has been meticulously crafted by natural selection as an essential element in our survival. Long summers, mild winters, rich harvests, plentiful game, none of them lasts forever. Catastrophic events have a way of sneaking up on us, of catching us unaware. Your own life or your bands might be owed to a restless few drawn by a craving they can hardly articulate or understand to undiscovered lands and new worlds. Herman Melville in Moby Dick spoke for wanderers in all epochs and meridians. He said, I am tormented with an everlasting itch for things remote. I love to sail forbidden seas.